guys, welcome to my airbags. I'm Eli, and today we're removing the airbag module on this Toyota Corolla. On this Toyota Corolla, you're gonna need a flashlight, a socket wrench, preferably a small one. There's some tight spaces on this one. We've got a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter. Now the first thing we wanna do is make sure the battery is disconnected. Anytime you work with the airbag system, it's really important to disconnect the battery first. So if you come on in, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this. Oh, we got a knock first. There you go. And uh, if you come on in, battery is right here. And you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. And we're just gonna go ahead and loosen that up just enough to wiggle the negative out. Tuck it in somewhere where it can't fall back into place. Positive. We're gonna give it a little wiggle. I'm gonna go ahead and put the casing back on it and tuck it away so there's no possible way that that can come back and make a connection while we're working on the airbag system. In the car, you wanna go ahead and move both front seats back. It's gonna make it easier to move and work around the... On the driver's side, we have this panel right to the right of the acceleration and brake pedals this panel right here. Now it kind of slides back a bit and then pulls right off. Very easy. There's no bolts or screws holding it down. There's even a little area right here. You can grab it and pull on it. So you can go ahead and just pops up just like that by these plastic tabs and then it pulls out. This is what it looks like. These tabs here are holding it. And then that's the part that slides in. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars, plus you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, Programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com we have a little rug fastener here so we're just going to go ahead and take that carpet and remove it from around that plastic piece and kind of just pull this back as much as we can now this module is kind of a little tight spot it's right behind this uh, plug it's hiding right there first thing we're going to do is remove this plug and if you press down on this tab right there and pull that's going to come right out and i'm going to tuck that plug away and try to move this carpeting back as much as you can the module is in a tight spot that's kind of the hardest part of this removal is to get to the bolts and the plugs uh, one thing we're going to do is on this side and the other side is go ahead and move this uh, air vent uh, we're not gonna completely remove it, but we are gonna just kind of just loosen it up just like that. And it will pull down. 
slightly and we'll do the same on the other side as well. And we'll kind of move it back. And right there you can see the yellow plug. That's just part of the airbag module. Let's go to the passenger side. And the same exact thing on the passenger side. You can just grab it here. These tabs, nothing bad happened when you heard that. Just a few pops. These are plastic tabs. Pop them off, slide it out. And the same type of plastic tab system here. After we go ahead and move this carpeting button right out and move some of the carpeting back. The module is right behind the air vent here. And I'm gonna pop this off just slightly as well. Same as we did on the driver's side. And we'll put it back to where it was after we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle this down and it'll come out from underneath. Once I've removed it and put it to the side, just like that, you can see the module much more clearly. Let's go ahead and unplug the module first. The plug is located right there. And I do wanna stop and make sure the car battery is not connected. That's really important because if the module has power going to it and we unbolt it and start moving it around, the module is going to think that it's in still in its original position, just like it is, but the whole car is moving around. At least that's what it thinks. So it's going to go ahead and tell the airbags to deploy, especially the roof airbags, because it thinks it's rolling over. So we want to go ahead and make sure the battery is disconnected anytime we're working with the airbag system. Let's go ahead and remove that plug. So if you press on that little button right there, I'm going to do it with my hands, but I just want to show you before I did it. Right there, if you press on it and pull on the lever at the same time, it will come right out. And I'll try to do it. Because it's a tight space, you may not see, but I'll try my best to show you. And you might be able to do it easier from the driver's side, or at least I will, so you can see. I'm going to press down on that tab and move it, and you'll see it come right out. We're going to go ahead and start removing the bolts. There's three of them. I recommend starting with this one and then going to the driver's side and then doing the last one that's in the back on this side, very last, because you can do that from the driver's side as well. You're going to need a 12 millimeter socket. I prefer using a small one so I can get into those tight spaces. There's number one. I'm going to go to the driver's side now. There's number two. And I recommend doing the third one from this side as well. And I'm gonna go all the way behind and feel with my fingers where that third bolt is. Now that we've got the module out, if you had a dealership or body shop or someone tell you that the module needs to be replaced due to an accident or just because maybe it went bad, if it went bad on its own, you do want to find a replacement. It could be fried on the inside uh, if you need a reset, meaning if the car was in an accident, we can actually reset the module. You don't have to replace it. You can send in the module to us. We get it fairly quickly. We reset it and send it back out within 24 hours. If you're ready to make the order, you can go to myairbags.com and click on services. You can add the module reset service to the cart and you can also add the seatbelts. If the seatbelts are bad, where they're locked up, or they're just bad after an accident, where you're getting a code for the seatbelt, you can actually send in the seatbelts in as well, along with your module. It's actually cheaper that way because you do save on the shipping to us, and then also on the way back as well. And if you're an automotive professional or just a hobbyist, flipping cars on the side. This is a great way to save money on your project. You can go to myairbags.com, select your year, make and model, and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced. Next, just fill out your information, check out. Once you've successfully paid and checked out, you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. No printer, no problem. You can go ahead and write out your name, address, phone number, and email address. And then just place that information inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, we'll service your parts, 
We'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.